Okie dokie, it is Tecmo Tuesday, and we're continuing on the season, the 1992 season, <clears throat> for the Indianapolis Colts, coming off a tough loss to the Jets, and as a result, we're tied with the Bills at 10-4, and four. and it's, you know, it's, it's the, the, the point differential is... I mean, it's it's obviously in favor of the Bills, but it looks like they're they've got a better um, you know a better crack at it um, by a decent margin. So it's gonna probably be up to us to to, to win out and then help. Hopefully, they'll lose a game. Uh, meanwhile, the AFC Central is just loaded. This uh, like nobody is spectacular. Ten and four Steelers are you know, that's a good record, but everybody's it's amazing that they you know the fact that they play each other and you know nobody has a losing record. Nobody here has a winning record, as has been the case. The Raiders look like they're going to, uh, should be. Uh, coming down to the Eagles and Cowboys. The Redskins should still make it in, though. Um, you know, they're not winning the division. Uh, it's going to be one of the two top teams. Uh, Vikings, you know, they may or may not uh, keep the control of the, of the Central. They, you know, Bears are, are creeping up on them. Only one game ahead of them. And then the Rams and 49ers are tied for first uh, atop the West. Um, Saints at 7-7, seven seven, you know, they're probably not going to get in. They probably need the Redskins to, to drop two games. Saints need to win two games. And then, you know, the point differential is definitely in favor of the Redskins. So it's almost impossible for that to happen. And the same thing with the Bears. Uh, they'd have to, I mean, they can get in, but they're going to have to beat bypass the Vikings to do so. Before I start, I'm going to take a look at my, uh, well, uh, George is hurt and Verdon is hurt. Let's see if, um, I mean, he may come back for this game, but I'm going to take a look at the, uh, the attributes of the, uh, condition of everybody else. So I'm going to leave the default. Do I, what do I have right now? I have Culver and Johnson. All right. Yeah. I'm going to leave that as it is. Um, but I think I'm going to lean toward... I mean, as bad... As much as I hate to say it, because Johnson was the one that I was subbing out. Um, I think, you know, he's in the best condition uh, of all of them. And he could plow through some people. They're all about, you know, relatively just as fast. Johnson has a little bit more uh, initial speed. And, of course, he has the... Um, he has... A higher rushing power, so he can plow through some people. Um, Langhorn's in good. He's always going to be in that. He's going to be in the lineup no matter what, I would say. Hester's in good. Brooks is average. And Vernon, of course, is hurt, so yeah, nope. Um, I'm going to leave in the tight ends as they are. Hopefully, George comes back. If not, we'll have to rely on Trudeau again, and you know, it hasn't exactly been. Well, with we, the first game on the docket, the Bills are playing the Saints, <clears throat> so hopefully they can uh, they can strike an upset there. All right, we got Vernon back. That's fine, but he's just our return guy. Do we have George? We don't. So here we go. This is gonna be um, this is gonna be interesting. Trudeau has not been. Um, he's he's had mixed results. Let's put it that way. I'm going to kick off, of course. Now, the Cardinals, they'll have Johnny Johnson, who is a pretty good running back. Um, so, hopefully, we can contain him. Oh, wait. They don't have him. Is, it, is he at the Jets? He wasn't on the Jets... No, it's 92. Johnson should be in there, but maybe he's hurt. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Let's see how the goose is playing here. Oh, boy. He is slow as fuck. Thankfully, that pass went out of bounds. All right, so, um... Yeah, not gonna be, uh, not gonna be playing as Saragusa. We got some guys. The guys are covered. He's going deep. Nice play by the safety. Oh, that might have been. Uh, yeah, that, that had that probably that probably was. That might have been. Uh, might have been Daniel, but I, I want to say that was. Uh, 
but that was good. Oh, you gotta be kidding me that they got that first down. We blitzed them and everything. Just timed it perfectly. That's coming off of that last one where they didn't time it well at all. I should have not have bought that fake, because I... Alright, we got the break up there at least. I should not have bought that fake, because I called the, um... I called the run up the middle. Well, then again, they have two runs up the middle, kind of like that. It's going deep. No! Ugh. They keep running this play. Oh, come on! We give up, we, you know, we're always, we're gonna give up the touchdown on the first drive. It's, it's almost automatic. Is it not? But, you know, it's like that drive was, uh, like, ugh. Because we had them in, we had him, like, as if we're playing against a human opponent. We had them in a, you know... A third down situation once or twice. It was, uh... I really felt like we had our chances. Oh, man, look at this. Oy. I didn't want to run it, and I felt like he was getting some, uh... A groove going there. Alright, first down. I'm not sure if that was the first time that Johnson's had a first down running the ball in this season. I mean, it definitely isn't, but it feels like it. No, oh, but he's been a hand uh, on the hands team or as a receiver. That is undeniable. All right, first and goal. Oh man, he fought for that and didn't get it. Uh, let's go to Johnson up the middle. I like to give it... I tend to like to give it to the guy. If somebody gets tackled at the one, I try to get them in the end zone. But I didn't really... I didn't really want to call either of those plays at that time. As long as we get a touchdown, you know, it's... Uh, I feel like Culver contributed to that one just as much as Johnson did. We gotta make sure that this isn't a shootout. Because Trudeau has been known to throw picks. And... I mean, he's not really that much worse than George ability-wise. But he uh, it seems like he's more often... He throws more picks. Especially in tight, you know tougher, tighter situations. Towards, you know, clutch moments. Shit like that. So I'm hoping that this doesn't end up being a shootout. Oh, man. We had coverage and everything on that one. Bailey is fast. Uh, play fake. Man, I'm freaking slow. Nice block. That was good, because if he was going... Well, it doesn't matter. Either receiver. If he was going to uh, the... If he was going to dunk it off short, he, that receiver was open, and then, of course, the, the one down the other end was wide open. Oh, they're doing this stupid fucking... No, they're not. They're doing a regular reverse. They have these two plays, and this is actually going to almost work. That that fourth pass play is like this double handoff, pitch back to the quarterback, and then throw. Um, I hate running that play, but if we can... They do have a regular reverse, too. So, it's not always obvious what they're running. Oh! Another third down conversion. Son of a biscuit. Alright, I'm switching off my guy. I'm going to pick a linebacker this time. Yeah, they're doing the... Alright. <clears throat> See, that time I felt like it was okay. I broke my own rule, kind of. By not rushing, by rushing up the middle. But because they were running, that was an, alright, nice sack there by Banks. 
because they were that, that could have been a reverse it was a sleight of hand i felt like that was where it was okay to to pull off that move plus i had backed up and i wasn't doing the whole double the glitch thing with taking the middle uh defender oh now they're doing the the play they've got all right not gonna happen this time we held them Now, if we can score on this drive, this is a big one. If we can score on this drive, we can get a, um, you know, if we can score before the half ends, go into the halftime with a seven-point lead, and then score again. It's always, you know, the goal. Oh, shit. It would help to hold another ball. What the hell? That went out of bounds. No, no. Throw the challenge flag. I mean, oh, my God. That is bullshit. That was so out of bounds. Oh, this is home cooking. Providing this game is in Phoenix. But that was such bullshit. Oh, and I missed the sack. And they run it in. What a ripoff this was. Oh, You have got to be fucking kidding me. It bounced out of bounds off of the fucking ground. And then back onto the field to play. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, well let's try to make up make make up for for that. Never mind the I mean we can still get our beloved double dip, but we're not gonna do it with a lead. At least not um at least not in the first touchdown. We gotta make up for that bogus call. Oh shit. Here comes the blitz. The fix is in, man. Make everybody miss. No! Fuck you! You fumble it now, you asshole. <sighs> Such fucking bullshit. Such bullshit. Are they doing this stupid fucking pitch back? They are. They're always gonna throw the hill. And they're gonna get one fucking play out of it, aren't they? Roll deep. Yeah, not happening this time. Man, that was some fucked up shit. I mean, at least they didn't fucking score after that turnover, but they should not even have gotten that first one to begin with. Either one of them, really. Like, that first fumble was such bullshit that they just should have nullified any more fumbles from that point forward. No, they're gonna get, have me fumble it on the next fucking drive. Ugh. All right. Let's fucking go for this here. Go fucking around. Go to our go-to guy. I don't know why I was trying to kill time there. We're, we're not. We don't have the lead. <laughs> we we haven't even tied it yet. But hey, I'll take the touchdown there. That was. Good way to start the half. Just try to suck the momentum away from them. I like to go for the jugular on, um, you know, after turnovers. This was not a turnover, but I felt like we had to swing the momentum quickly right there, and it actually worked. It seems like, you know, when we need the big play, and we go for the big play, like we're targeting a deep pass like that, it works out for us. Not so much when it's, like, not in desperation time. Come on, let's get a fumble of our own here. Let's fucking get something here. We need we need a break. We need something to go our way here. Oh, come on. I had him. I fucking had him. Like, I've seen interceptions. I mean, obviously, I wasn't in the perfect spot, but I've seen interceptions where the guy cuts in. Oh, I bought that fake. Oh, come on, give me the pick, give me the pick. Hmm. Play fake. Oh, they faked me out, that son of a bitch. See, they, these guys are just, they're, they're so efficient. They're like, you know, they're 
mostly not getting big plays, although watch them actually get one here. Come on, sack, sack him. So nobody can fucking sack him! And they get the pass. Oh, there's Johnny Johnson. What the fuck's he doing over there? And... Ugh. My I, I did not even fucking dive. That was the computer controlling me on the dive. It dove on its own. I did not fucking hit the button, and I do I do that on purpose because it takes me off the fucking play. Oh, and they do they have the fake handoff too. Yes! Yes, we need that. Alright, that you know, that helps. Cause there's been so much bullshit going the other way. That's exactly what the doctor ordered. Fuck. Ready, down. Hunt, hunt, hunt. Ah, oh, they got there just in time. I did wait a little bit longer than I should have for that, but, um... It, he, he was really close to the line of scrimmage. I felt like somebody was going to come in. I waited, and then somebody came in anyway. All right, Culver's... He's going to be covered. Ugh, man, he almost... It, that went right to the defenders. All right, I'm going to do the, uh... All right, they didn't call it, but they... Ugh. Come on, Culver. Come on, come on, come on. All right, there we go. Just about enough. <sighs> All right, let's try to let's run the ball again here. We can't let Trudeau be the, you know, the definitive cause, whether we win or lose. Man, didn't go anywhere that time. All right, big first down. Here we go. It's crunch time. It is a big fourth quarter here for our season. All right, let's not fumble it. Let's not fuck anything up. Uh, let's see. I'll go to cover the other way. Yeah, they knew it. They knew it, the bastards. All right. I should be in shotgun. I just called a play that was not a shotgun because they're gonna blitz. All right, they didn't blitz. Just don't pick it off. Ah, oh, out of off his hands. I mean, that looked like it was out of reach, but um, you know. All right, it's field goal time. Come on, Dean. Come on, Dean. Yes. All right. Now it's uh. Time to play some D. Not as good of a uh, of coverage as I was hoping. I feel like even if we do give up a touchdown on this drive, there should still be enough time. Oh, especially if they fucking blow right past us, son of a fuck. You know, we were fucking overdue to give up a big run like this. Ugh. Right on fucking cue. Hey, right, we blocked the extra point, so we can tie the game with a field goal. It's not like we need a touchdown, but... You know, by God, I'm gonna fucking go for that touchdown. I don't want to put this game into overtime, and I'm not even gonna get the fucking ball. You gotta be fucking kidding me! Fuck you! Oh fuck you! Double fuck you for this bullshit. You gonna fuck me over three th thrice in this fucking game with the fucking fumbles? Fuck. You know, just fuck you. And look at this shit. And then fucking diving. I'm not even fucking choosing to dive. You know, a fumble right there would have been fucking nice. You know, it would have been fucking nice to get one one of these fucking times. You know, he called the play, but I mean, what difference does a fucking make at this point? Ah, oh, you sons of bitches. None of you guys can fucking catch him, you fucking suck! Ugh! Fuck off! Now th this this basically f rapes us of our chances of getting the uh, of getting the fucking division. 
Uh, the way these assholes are playing, like, with these fucking fumbles, too. Like, god damn it. It's a- it really just goes on my ass sideways. Am I even gonna fucking get out of the end zone here? Yeah, why not fumble it there, too? Jesus fucking Christ. One more for the fucking hell of it. Ridiculous to think that Trudeau or anybody can throw it this deep. <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. Ugh, it doesn't mean anything though, the game is over. Yeah, celebrate that shit. If it wasn't for three bullshit fumbles, and one of them really was bullshit, because it fucking went out of bounds, that really pisses me off. That I, I mean, it's one thing for there to be, two, you know, extra fumbles. It feels like uh, the, you're getting fucked over, but you are getting fucked over when it's when bullshit like that happens. When it when it goes, it, go, it clearly went out of bounds. I think it might have even bounced off of the ground out of bounds and bounced back in. Like, it, does it really need to settle out of bounds for it to count in Tecmo? Fuck that. So, I don't give a fuck about these stats because they don't... They're not real to me. It's like the, the, the game fucked me. So, okay, well, let's simulate the rest of the fucking week. And then we'll take a look at the standings and see, you know, where we stand. <sighs> you know, it's like, if, if, if Buffalo does lose... To the Saints, I feel like that's a, just a fucking tease. Because it doesn't matter. We can't reach them at this point. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Now they clobbered them. And, well, they haven't technically won the division. All right, the Raiders get their uh, division win. They're the first team to get... The clinch uh, a division. Congratulations for the eight and seven, I think, uh, Raiders. <sighs> so the Bills haven't technically won the division because they yeah, they can still lose. We can still win eleven and five each. And but I mean, you look at the fucking point differential. There's no way unless we absolutely decimate um, our opponents, who I think is Cincinnati. Um, and we know that everybody in the Central is good. So I mean, if we're getting beat by the fucking five and ten, you know, four and ten. Uh, going into that game, Cardinals or the, you know, the f whatever the fuck the Jets were going into that game, two in a row like that, when we just fumbling it out the ass. Look at this. All these teams that are nine and six, like they, I feel like, like they, they're not gonna, they're not gonna all get in. I mean, they technically, yeah, they. I mean, well, actually, they really could. No, they can't because Browns have a. Point differential that's minus. So uh, even if they tie does, um, then they would not get it. They, yeah, they would not be able to bypass us. So we're pretty much in the playoffs. But we gotta go into. We can't go into the fucking playoffs backdooring it with a with a fucking three game losing streak. But a win over the Bengals, who are nine and six. You know they're a playoff team, perhaps. Um, you know we could play spoiler and. And kick their, uh, you know, kick their ass and get get them out, and you know, go into the playoffs with a little momentum because we're not gonna we're not gonna win this division. I mean, let's face it, it's not gonna happen. Uh, but we are, you know, we are gonna get into the playoffs, but we can't be fucking fumbling it three times. At, at I think it was three three times. But one of them was bullshit. It bounced, it bounced out of bounds. I'm not even going to fucking dwell on it. I, I can't. I got to move on to the next fucking obstacle, which is Cincinnati. We're on to Cincinnati, as somebody once said. We'll see how this division goes. And it, it, Technically, anybody can win it, but I mean, the Browns aren't going to win it, even if they win and the Steelers lose. But they can get into the playoffs, depending on how the rest of, how, you know, Houston and Cincy fare. I mean, we could win... Uh, if we win our game over Cincinnati, that will um, like open the door for the Browns and the Oilers, really. Um, and the Bills, I think, are playing the Oilers, so you know that game's important. 
Raiders are in the uh, the West. Nobody else in the West is even close. So it's going to be, uh, you know, Bills are going to be in. Bill, Bills and Colts are going to be in. The Steelers will be in even if they lose, I think. And, um, yeah, because they're not going to have, you know, three of these teams are getting in. Uh, and it's not going to be, uh, and the Steelers won't be the odd team out no matter what happens everywhere else just because of point differential. Cowboys are in the driver's seat for the East. They haven't clinched it yet. The Redskins, they they've clinched now with uh, with a win to get up to ten and five. So these three teams will get in. The Vikings will get in, and I mean they technically could still lose the division. And yeah, I mean maybe the, the Bears are on their tail, and they the point differential is reachable. And then this one is also you know similar case. Um, Saints aren't getting in, so it's going to be. I, I think it's basically guaranteed. It's going to be Rams, Niners, uh, Vikings. Yeah, Rams, Niners, Vikings, or Bears. Like whoever wins this division, probably the Vikings, and then Cowboys, Eagles, and Redskins. So it looks. Um, it's looking very similar to the real 92 season, except the uh, the Saints were the team that got in and not the Rams over here. And, you know, there's, of course, some seeding differences and all that shit. But it's looking very similar to how the 1992 season actually turned out. Um, yeah, so next week we've got the Bengals. The Bills are playing the Oilers. Yes, that's... That that much is true, and mostly everything else. I mean, Cowboys, uh, you know, are playing for the division. The Vikings, you know, they're playing the Bears, so that Bears need to beat Dallas while Minnesota is playing Green Bay. That's another thing to keep an eye on. See how things work out for the NFC Central, and uh, and of course us against the uh, Bengals. That's uh, you know, battle of playoff. We might end up playing them back to back weeks if uh, if depending on how the seeding shakes out so that'll do it for this week and uh you know i'll take a look at the final league leaders and all that shit in the final uh after the final week of the season uh i'll see you then